Hey, uh, how's it going? Uh, Guilty Gear Zex, Advanced Edition, Part 1 of 3, playing as Dizzy, finally. This is the last character I have to throw down as. Let's see, I want to go ahead and get started on it. Uh, you're here with J4T4, you know, Game Boy Advance, all that good stuff. Um, and get it out of the way. I have fun playing fighting games. Uh, I play them, you know, it's fun. I like having fun. Uh, I suck at them. Uh, I could learn, I could use getting the combos and special moves down pad. Otherwise, you know, I do suck at them. So I think that's all out of the way. All that good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get on with my usual and given bios of characters. So here's Dizzy. The details of Dizzy's birth are not known. All that is known for certain is that she was found as an infant roughly three years before the events of Guilty Gear Zex by an old couple with no children of their own to depend on. The other, other villagers became afraid, however, since Dizzy appeared to, to age from being an infant to apparently being in her late teens in three years. This was compounded when she discovered one day that she, had, she now had wings and a tail. Dizzy was now identified as a gear, essentially a living weapon of mass destruction. And a hundred and a hundred year war against gears had just ended five years ago. Dizzy's foster parents hid her in a grove in the woods, but she was soon discovered and subjected to abuse at the hands of her captors. She quickly escaped, however, and the government issued a five hundred thousand world dollar bounty on her for her death. From there, Dizzy came under the protection of Testament, a gear who had served on the command gear Justice. Testament fought off most of the bounty hunters, and if any managed to overcome him, they were quickly beaten back the, by the immense power of Dizzy herself. Dialogue. I don't like to hurt others. Please, stay from here. Um, she was eventually defeated by the bounty hunter known as Soul Bad Guy. However, he spared her life and the bounty fell to Jam Kira Dobiri, who used it to create her restaurant. Dizzy was then discovered by Johnny and May, who rescued her and invited her into their crew. A few weeks later, Dizzy was on the deck of the May ship when she suddenly knocked off by Aino. She fell 20,000 feet and the impact caused her to become possessed by Necro. Under no fault of her own, she then laid waste to several other characters until she was cured by Faust. Dizzy's mother, it turns out, is Justice, which is revealed in the drama CD, Guilty Gear, XX, or XX, or X2, or whatever the fuck, uh, side red and black, as well as comments on the CD by Dizzy's actress, Kazu Fujita. Dizzy can perform a variation on Justice's Gamma Ray Overdrive, as well as the Michael Sword attack in her EX mode on Guilty Gear XX. Sweet, that's a, that's it for Dizzy. I see I am throwing down against Jim Kira Dobiri. And that's fun, good stuff. Figure I'll go ahead and try to hurry up and get on top of this, and I can move on to other fun, interesting projects. I think I'll take a break from Fighters for a little bit, maybe. See how that goes. I have a lot of stuff to catch up on anyway. So I'll probably work on other projects I need to finish for the time being. Uh, let's see, dialogue. Your radiance is dazzling. You have big dreams, don't you? Dizzy seems like a sweetheart, though. I don't know. Even though she's a powerful gear, she seems like a fucking sweetheart. And it's kind of cute. Loser mode. So, let's see, Johnny. He seems like a nice fellow. I think. Until he whooped her ass. I wish I would have paid more attention to this case. Actually, I think I got it elsewhere. Because it just fucking broke. Oh well, whatever. I moved it, and it moved back in place. I need to watch this shit more. Anyway... Sweet, I'm glad I can be almost done with this soon enough. 
I don't know, Dizzy, she's decent. Not one of my better characters, not one of my worst characters. Clearly. She's decent, though. I had fun playing her. I don't really have any major complaints about her at all whatsoever, I don't think. Not that I recall too much. Uh, I think I pulled off her, a couple of her special moves. Um, a bit more easily than I have with other characters, but then again, since I really don't know the special moves and other such shit, um, like I said, I play for fun, so... Oh. You could have really hurt me. Thank you. But I thought she had immense power. Stage 4, zip! Again? No, wait, that's a different thing. Whatever. Yeah, I'm trying to remove a sticker here on a game. I figure it's something to kind of keep me busy while I'm doing this. With, uh, commentary for Dizzy. I do find it kind of retarded, the stickers and such they put on games these days. So what can I do about it? Not too much, really. Let's see how this goes, though. How about it? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I still gotta use stuff, because this... The stickers they like to use on these fucking game cases. Like to leave residue and kinds of retarded shit like that. And it takes a long time for fucking... Um, um, hard copy games prices to go down. Like, it takes two or three years for a moderately decent game to come with under ten bucks. But, I mean, that's not too bad, seeing as, um, actually, a lot of these games are older than fucking just a couple, two years. But I guess that's what you get with being a fucking retard, or at least me. But I, 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 I prefer waiting for games to go down in price, because you can always enjoy a great game years later just as much as you would enjoy it the day it came out. For the most part. Obviously, by the time you get around to playing it, some of the, you know... Newness wore off, but the new factor, if it's going to be a fun game, it will be a fun game no matter when. I, I'm sorry, I thought you were here to capture me. 